We're taking fried rice and loading it up with heaps of veggies, salmon, and using a beautiful mixture of whole grain rices. This is my healthy-ish fried rice. Okay, so fried rice doesn't have the most virtuous reputation when it comes to being healthy, but there are loads of healthy versions you can make at home, and this one is a particular favorite at my house. So first of all, let's talk about the rice. Now, I love regular Thai jasmine rice. I have to say that or my Thai mother would kill me. Uh, but for this one, I'm gonna go with a mixture of grains here. I've swapped out the white rice for lots of brown rice and then mixed in some of these alternative grains, a couple of wild rice grains, there's some black glutinous sticky rice in here. There's lots of different options now in the rice section of your supermarket. So just go for something, you know, a little out there. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna get that into a pot. And now you should really follow the cooking instructions for whatever whole grain rice that you're using. For this particular one, I use double the amount of water to rice. And then I like to just give this a little mix with a fork, make sure everything is getting hydrated in there. Now there are a lot of choose your own adventure paths for cooking rice. My method is to leave the lid off and just allow that water to come to a boil and wait for it to evaporate. So that's gonna take about 10 minutes. So in the meantime, let's do a little bit of chopping. Got a carrot here. I just want some really fine cubes. So I'll start by cutting that in half and then I want some very fine strips here. And you just want some matchsticks and then cut those into cubes. Now this dicing isn't just for aesthetics, it's so that when I add the carrot into the wok, it cooks at the same time as the rest of the ingredients. And I'll get my eggs ready as well. So this rice is looking good. You can see the water has evaporated here. It's just bubbling away under the surface there. I'm gonna put the lid on now and just let that cook for another three or four minutes or until the rice is really nice and tender. See how beautifully separate and not soggy those rice grains are? Beautiful. Now never go at your rice with the spoon. You wanna use a fork and just gently fluff up all of the rice in that pot and now tip it out onto a tray. Now, if you were really organized, you would have done this the day before because everyone knows that day old rice is much better for stir frying, but I'm never that organized. So what I do is pop the whole tray into the freezer for a couple of minutes. That'll cool things down and also firm up the rice grains. So here we are with our rice. Now this is way more than you need for this recipe, but just pop it in the fridge and then you've got it ready for tomorrow night. All right, now the rest of our lovely ingredients here, I've got some baby spinach, I've got some salmon. This salmon I've just cut into very small little pieces here that'll stir fry beautifully. And some bean shoots, onion and garlic. So now all that's left to do is to get everything in the wok. Just need some oil, some garlic, some onion. I'm gonna get my carrot straight in there too. Now you wanna give these guys a minute or so just to let that carrot soften up a little bit. Now in with my spinach. Now the salmon. Now just half a minute with the salmon and before it's fully cooked through, I'm gonna move it over to the side. Add in some oil to that empty side and then pour in my eggs. Now just try and spread those eggs out as best I can to form a kind of makeshift omelette. Much easier than doing the omelette separately. And then when it's almost set, just break it up and mix it through. Now in goes my rice, about four cups. And now the seasonings, soy sauce, fish sauce, and always with Thai style fried rices anyway, a little bit of white pepper. Now just at the end here, I want some spring onion.
and some bean shoots. Now just serve that up. And a little wedge of lime at the end. And there you go guys, a healthy-ish fried rice. To me, it's very virtuous anyway. The salmon, the vegetables, the spinach, come on. And let's see, delicious also. I actually love the flavor of that whole grain rice. Kind of adds an extra little bit of nuttiness. This is just really good food, regardless of the healthy. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.